when it comes to taking a picture of ourselves, most people are just gonna grab their phone, turn on the front facing camera and take a selfie. And that's fine. But if you want to take a more interesting self portrait photo, then watch this video to find out my top tips. So let's get into it. Okay, so tip number one, don't take a selfie. It's completely fine and selfies serve their purpose, but it's not exactly the most creative portrait of yourself. So instead, take the phone out of your hands and put it onto a tripod. Now you don't need to spend any more than 20 pound on this, but get yourself a cheap miniature tripod for your phone. It will make the world of difference, I promise. So now that you've got your mini tripod, you want to mount your camera to your tripod, open up the camera app and you want to turn on the self timer. I think the default for the self timer is 10 seconds, which is more than enough time to jump into the frame and get the photo. So you want to take your phone, you want to take the tripod, place it down on the ground or use a wall, frame up your shot and then turn that self timer on, press the shutter button and run into the frame. Okay, so now that you've pressed the shutter button, you've got around 10 seconds to figure out exactly what you're going to do. So you could stand in front of a landmark, you could look into the distance, or you can do something sporty. It's completely up to you. Just get your creative photo and then jump back to the camera. Now, it's really important to be very creative with your photos. You don't just wanna take a really boring photo from eye level height because this is gonna be really boring and it won't stand out from the crowd. So, rather than doing that, you want to think about interesting angles and perspectives. So, for example, you could put the camera on the ground and angle this up for a nice low angle. You could do the opposite and get a nice high angle. You could shoot through some objects, do frame within a frame. There's an absolute plethora of different things that you can do to make your work really stand out. Think about your composition, think about your angles, think about perspective, and think about layers. How many layers do you have to the photo? Do you have a foreground, middle, and background, or is it just you? If it's just you, think about adding a foreground or a background element. This is gonna make your photo far more interesting and it's really gonna help to take that photo to the next level. Now, last but not least is editing. It's really important that you spend just at least a little bit of time editing your photos because you could take the most interesting photo from a really interesting angle in an amazing location, but if you don't add any editing, whatsoever, then it's gonna be missing that magic ingredient. Even if you're only able to add some brightness, some saturation, add a little bit of contrast, it's still really going to help you take your image to that next level. But if you're editing your images on your phone, then there's two apps that you're going to want to consider downloading. The first is VSEO and the second is Afterlight. Now, most of the influencers and models that I've worked with over the time absolutely swear by VSEO. If you're looking for an easy to use but powerful image editing app, then VSEO is really gonna be one for you. And then Afterlight basically does the exact same thing as VSEO, but it also gives you the ability to play around with some light flares, chromatic aberration, and some other photo editing effects that are really gonna help to take your photo to the next level. So essentially, what I'm saying here is don't just settle for a boring selfie. If you're in an interesting location, then why not take a really awesome self-portrait? So take your phone, mount it to a tripod, put it in an interesting location, think about your framing, think about what's in the background and the foreground, think about those layers, think about maybe shooting frame within a frame. Just be really creative, create an amazing photo, and then do some really awesome editing to take that to the next level. So there you go, that's it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And if you're subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.